Hey everyone, Irix guy here. Now, if you're a uh, Mac user like I am, that was one of the uh, driving factors that uh, came into play when deciding whether or not to upgrade from the DJI Phantom version one, which I had the DJI Phantom 1.1.1 previously, and going to the two. So right now I'm with the Phantom Two Vision Plus, which at the time of posting this is the latest and greatest. But you can see here I'm running the uh, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus software on a Mac computer. So I've got an iMac, Haswell iMac. But it's really neat. Basically all you do is install the software. You log into it uh, with your account that you created on DJI.com. And there's quite a bit of information in here. It's very simplistic. Uh, right now I've got the uh, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus connected by way of the of the USB cable that came with it. So in your view mode, you can see the uh, you can see various information. Uh, battery level right now is 82% because I haven't charged it all the way, and you can see your uh, your fail safe method, uh, which is go home and landing. And you can check out my other video because that's something that works extremely well. Um, I was uh, somewhat new to the go home feature, and long story short, I flew out of range. It, and it uh, it came back and successfully landed within about a two and a half foot area. So that was really neat. You can see all sorts of information here. You can channel monitor. You could adjust that if you wanted to. I'm not. I'm not yet an advanced user here. Now you can go to the uh, you can go to the basic configuration. It says please use the DJI Phantom 2 transmitter to configure in the page. Please relink transmitter if you is if it's changed. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to touch any of that. You can go to the advanced tab. You can see your battery, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, right now, I've just got it at the default, uh, which is low level, 30%. Uh, that's when on your, uh, in my case, iPhone, but maybe you're an Android user, where you'll see the, uh, the red border around your screen and also the, uh, the notification that your battery is getting low. You could change that. I think 30% is good, especially if you're uh, if you're somewhat far away. That should give most people an ample amount of time to return safely. And you've always got to take into account uh, wind, etc., that may kick up and may delay your uh, your landing. So it's always good to have a little extra juice. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to keep the low battery at 30% and the critical battery level at 15%. I think that's about perfect. Uh, you can go to limits. Uh, flight limits include distant limits, distance limits, and flight limits of special area. So you can do it in meters, meter, feet, mile. So you could set uh, you could set certain parameters to uh, to dictate how high and how far away your DJI Phantom can fly, and then also flight limits of special area. So you've got this. It says special areas include airports worldwide. These areas have been divided into category A and category B. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you can do in this app and we haven't even gotten to the to the good stuff yet. Right here you've got your IMU calibration. Now this this is something I'm not going to mess with but I do plan to read more. But what I did on this is I came in with the brand new DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. First time I'd linked it up with the uh, uh, with this with this software here, and you can see the only thing. Well, you won't be able to see this, but what I did when I came in my main controller, it was an older version, so it updated at the time of posting this, which is the most current firmware version 3.04. So that's the only thing I've uploaded updated so far. It couldn't have been easier. You just need to make sure that obviously your Phantom 2 battery is fully charged uh, before you sync it up because you know any any sort of firmware update if if you lost power during an update you could potentially uh, create a uh, an error that's not 
able to be recovered from. So do that, and then you can come in here, and it's the upgrade process is really simple. Info tab, we're not going to go into that. That's just some of my information. But a really cool app interface. Now, what I would like to see, and I'm hoping that uh, that maybe they'll maybe they'll release something like this in the future. If they would release an app for Mac OS 10 that would enable uh, the functionality like you get from the from the iPhone or the Android app with the first person view, I think that would be really cool. Also, some sort of app for Mac OS 10 that would enable you to uh, to map out your course, kind of like the Ground Station app on the iPad, but I'd like to see something for Mac OS 10, especially if you're like me and you have a MacBook Air uh, that you take in the field with you. And you can check out uh, some of my first uh, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus flying videos, and you'll see the, the iPhone at the bottom of the video. And the way I did that, I had both the uh, uh, both the iPhone and my MacBook Air paired to the wireless on the wireless range extender on the on the Phantom's remote, and then I was able to do an AirPlay uh, using a third-party app and have the same image that that I saw on my iPhone visible on my Mac OS 10, and then I ran a screen capture on my Mac OS 10 and and did that. So that was pretty cool. I'd like to see some of that type uh, functionality released by DJI itself. But yeah, the app, as you can see here, the uh, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus app, very user friendly and just chock full of information. So if you're a, if you're not yet a power user like I am, uh, you can go in here and update your firmware. Uh, if you are a power user, you could go in here and uh, further customize the. Uh, the capabilities of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Really, really cool stuff. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I know I was curious about uh, what all I could do in the app before I had the app, so I hope you found this uh, uh, this presentation to be informative. And be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash iRixGuy, and you can enjoy all of my DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.